All right, YouTube, as you see from the title and thumbnail, this video is gonna be how to find the perfect sensitivity for you. This video is gonna be a full guide so you can find the best sensitivity for you. Obviously, there's not just one good sensitivity, so that's why I'm gonna give you the best options and show you how to tweak the sensitivity so it can be the perfect sensitivity for you. It's up to you to choose what will work the best for you. Sensitivity is very important because a bad sensitivity can make you miss more shots and make you miss edits, and that will hold you back skill-wise. So let's get straight into the video. Before you try out different sensitivities, the first thing you have to do is figure out what DPI you're going to use. As a keyboard and mouse player, you have something called DPI. DPI stands for dots per inch and is your mouse's sensitivity. So as a keyboard and mouse player, you have your mouse sensitivity and in-game Fortnite sensitivity. So if you're on 1600 DPI and copy someone's sensitivity that's on 800 DPI, your sensitivity is going to be uncontrollably fast. So the main DPIs you want to use are either 800 DPI or 1600 DPI. Those are the main two used in Fortnite. You don't want to use anything else besides those two and it honestly doesn't matter which one you use between the two. Most mice should have an app you can download onto your PC to change the DPI permanently. Check first to see if you can download an app to enter your DPI as that's the better way. Depending on your mouse, you can use the Logitech G-Hub. I personally use the Logitech Onboard Memory Manager. You can also use the Razer Synapse. I know the Glorious Model O has an app, etc. The other way is some mice have a DPI button, but you can accidentally press the button while playing, which will change the sensitivity mid-fight, which is why I said try the app first, but if your mouse doesn't have an app, oh well, nothing you can do. Also, use ChatGPT or go on the mouse's box or website to figure out what color is connected to which DPI for your specific mouse. So you know what DPI you're on because the DPIs on the DPI button are color coded. So for example, red will be 400 DPI, etc. If you're on console, then you can only use the DPI button, unfortunately. Now that that is out the way, we can get into the sensitivities. After you pick what you're going to use, 800 DPI or 1600 DPI, what I recommend and what I did personally is find a pro that's on the same DPI as you and copy their sensitivity or you can just switch to their DPI if you want. If someone is on 3.5% X and Y on 1600 DPI, that is 7% X and Y on 800 DPI. So if you want to use your favorite pro player sensitivity and you aren't on the same DPI, you can still use their sensitivity without changing your DPI. If they're on 1600 DPI and you're on 800 DPI, you will times their in-game X and Y sensitivity by 2. If you're on 1600 DPI and they're on 800 DPI, you will divide their in-game X and Y sensitivity by 2. I'm going to give you a popular sensitivities pros use, then you can pick, kind of like I'm giving out presets. But for 800 DPI, 6.4% X and Y is what Peterbot, Pollo, Cold, and almost every pro plays. For 1600 DPI, 3.5% X and Y is also good. And for 800 DPI, that would be 7% X and Y. 4.6% X and Y on 800 DPI is valid. Another 1600 DPI one will be 2.9% 2 X and Y on 1600 DPI. I personally use 7.5% X and Y on 800 DPI if any of you guys want to try that out. You don't have to use these, you can go ahead and use your favorite pro player sensitivity if you want by going into their Twitch chat and typing exclamation mark sense or going to their YouTube or TikTok to see if they have a settings video. After you pick your sensitivity, you're going to do a mouse test to make sure the sensitivity is playable. To ensure that your sensitivity is not too low, you want to take your mouse and place it at one side of your mouse pad and you want to drag it across your mouse pad and you should be able to do at least one full 360. If you can't do one full 360, that means your sensitivity is either too low or you don't have a lot of mouse space. Either way, you want to raise your sensitivity until you're able to do one full 360. Some of you are going to be like me where you can either do one and a half 360 or you can do two full 360s. If you could do one and a half 360 or two full 360s, that just means your sensitivity is more on a medium to high level or you have a lot of mouse space. If you can do one and a half 360 or two full 360s, that's genuinely not a problem. It only becomes a problem if you find yourself frequently overshooting your targets, struggling with tracking or missing edits. Also, if it feels difficult to make small precise movements like lining up headshots or placing builds. So if you're struggling with any of those, if you could do one and a half 360, make it so you can only do one full 360. And if you could do two full 360s, make it so you can only do one and a half 360. If you're wondering what's considered low or high sense, anything under like 5.6% X and Y is low and anything Think over 6.8% X and Y is high on 800 DPI. For 1600 DPI, that would be anything under 2.8% X and Y is low, and anything above 3.4% X and Y is high, and obviously for both, anything in the middle is a medium sense. 
For what sense to pick low or high, that is totally up to you. Some people when editing want to barely move their crosshair and prioritize aim, and others want to have a very fast mechanical playstyle where they can flick to the opponent's head when needed, and some people like a mix of both so they have it in the middle. If you don't know what you want to do, try out both. Also, for keyboard and mouse, don't let low sense fool you, because even if you're on low sense, if you flick your mouse, you're still going to turn at a decent speed, so don't think low sense means you're going to look like a turtle. You will only look like a turtle depending on how you move your mouse. Like I said in the mouse test, if you don't have a lot of mouse space, you're going to be forced to play on a higher sense. And if you have a lot of mouse space, it just depends what sense you prefer, slow and precise or fast and flicky. But then you're going to play the game and as you play, if it's too fast, you can lower it a little bit. And if it's too slow, you can raise it a little bit. And as you play, you can adjust it to your liking. I'm not saying copy a pro sensitivity and stay with it. You're just using it as a starting point, then adjust it to your liking. Because I know little kids in the comment section are going to say find your own sensitivity. But if you're new to Fortnite, putting a random sensitivity will do more harm than good. But there's going to be some of you out there that the sensitivity I pick, you're not going to have to adjust it. It's going to be good as it is. But most will probably have to make minor adjustments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Peace.